Welcome back to the California Quarter Mile Short Track. It's time for the semifinal round in the Mustang Tournament. Things are really about to heat up because we've got some fast cars taking the track today. Up first in the 07 Shelby GT500 is EMC TV driving for League of Speed. He'll be the pole sitter in today's race, and joining him in the front row is Nero 62 in that red 1965 Mustang Fastback. He'll be driving for Nick Deavers Racing. Going back to the second row, we have Rushed Concept 2049 in the custom 2018 Mustang GT. He'll be driving for 3D Bot Maker Racing. Next to him driving for Redline Salvage Inc. is Orange Track Diecast in the 1967 Mustang GT. That car looks awesome in the Zaymac finish, and of course those flames. Going to the back row, we have Rubber Ruff driving in the Butterfinger 1996 Mustang GT. He'll be the second driver in this heat for 3D Bot Maker Racing. And finally, back in sixth place, driving for Nick Deavers, is Susan O'Brien in the yellow 2007 Mustang. This will be a four lap race with the top three cars advancing on to the Mustang Tournament Finals. There's high expectations in this race for EMC TV to do well. He's in the pole position for a reason, and we've already got a caution out on the track. Rushed Concept flips over, and just look at EMC TV. An incredible time there, but he flipped his car. Oh my goodness. We've got three cars upside down on the track. What a way to start off the semifinals. Let's take a look at that replay. Right here, you could see them just all falling over, almost synchronized. Rushed Concept followed by Nero 62 and Orange Track Diecast. Rubbin is racing, but you don't want to do that much rubbin going around the big turn. Otherwise, something like this is going to happen. That's certainly going to shake up the positions, moving Rubber Ruff into second place and Susan O'Brien from sixth up to third. A lot of contact out there on the track. This is some very competitive racing, and Nero 62, starting that lap off in fifth place, has moved up to first. Wow! EMC TV may have dominated in round one, but he's got some competition here in the semifinals. I have a feeling we might see some good back and forth racing between those two. Here they are neck and neck coming into turn one. Nero 62 out in front. He loses control and EMC TV takes back the lead in this race with one lap to go. These drivers know the stakes are high. The slightest mistake can cost you this entire race. Nero 62 way high on that bank turn going sideways. There was really no way to control that car coming out of that turn. EMC TV taps him on the rear end for a bump and run and he'll be the leader going into the final lap. Also, Rubber Ruff is now in second place, moving Nero 62 back to third. Keep in mind, only the top three will advance on to the finals. It's a close race between Nero and Rubber Ruff, and it's gonna be EMZ TV, followed by Nero 62 and Rubber Ruff advancing on to the final round. Wow, some great racing action to start off the semifinals. Let's take another look at that last lap. You can see Nero 62 and Rubber Ruff really battling it out for that second place spot. Nero 62 drifting across the finish line while he blocks that Butterfinger car, giving him second place in this race. EMC TV is driving for League of Speed, Nero 62 for Nick Deavers Racing, and Rubber Ruff driving for 3D Bot Maker. We've got more action coming up after the break with Heat 2 of the semifinals. Welcome back to the second heat of the semifinals in the Mustang Tournament here on the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League. Up first in the pole position is Chase Gallery driving that 1971 Mustang Mach 1. He'll be driving for 3D Botmaker Racing. Joining him in the front row is Andrew Rothgern driving the 2010 Shelby GT500 Super Snake. He'll be driving for Nick Deavers Racing. We have another driver for 3D Bot Maker Racing, it's Haydar Omar in that custom 1967 Mustang. That one is a 50th anniversary red line. Then we have our third driver for 3D Bot Maker Racing, it's Aiden Orth in that green and black 1968 Mustang. Going back to the last row, we have Big Poppy in the Shelby GT350R. 
He'll be driving for 4114 Diecast Racing. And finally, all the way back in sixth place is Red Right Hand Racing in that 1992 Fox Body Mustang. He'll be driving for Colorado Gresham Racing. We've got three spots left in the finals. Which three drivers will make it in? We've got some fast cars in this heat, so this should get interesting. Andrew Rothgarn pulling ahead going into the turn. Chase Gallery spins out as Haydar Omar pulls into second place. It looks like Big Poppy will take third, and Aiden Orth falls back to fifth. Not a good start for Chase Gallery in the Mustang Mach 1. He started this lap off in the pole and is now back in fourth place. Andrew Rothgarn is your new leader going into lap two. Rothgarn pulling ahead going into the turn followed by Big Poppy. Big Poppy slams into the wall, but he will move up to second place. Followed by Haydar Omar and Chase Gallery will remain in fourth. Right now, Andrew Rothgarn appears to have control over this race. No one seems to be matching his speed or stability. We've got two to go with Rothgarn and Big Poppy in the front row. Rothgarn with a slight lead going into the turn. He gets hit from behind by Haydar Omar who moves up to second place. And Aiden Orth Racing finds its way into third place right before he slams into the back of that custom 67 Mustang. This is going to be very interesting with one lap to go. It looks like Andrew Rothgarn has this race in the bag, but who is going to take the second and third place spot? It could be Aiden Orth, it could be Big Poppy, Haydar Omar, or who knows, maybe Chase Gallery or Red Right Hand will find the opening. Here we go, the fourth and final lap. Andrew Rothgarn and Haydar Omar in the lead. Haydar Omar flips over, and Chase Gallery finds an opening to pass. Chase Gallery will take second place in that Mustang Mach 1. We've only got two drivers down at the finish. Wait a minute, I thought Haydar Omar flipped that red Mustang over. Now it's back up on its wheels. Let's take a look at that from the turn cam. You can see him sliding on his roof coming out of the turn, and right there he gets flipped back over. Wow, let's take another look from a different angle. And there it is. It looks like he got a little bit of help from Red Right Hand Racing. And that right there is going to play a big factor because that puts Haydar Omar in second place as he's four drivers race for that third place spot. Aiden Orth will be starting in first. We've got one spot left. Who's going to take it? Aiden Orth and Haydar side by side. Aiden Orth pulls off a 360 maneuver going around the turn. What just happened? I don't think we've ever seen someone pull off a 360 maneuver going into the turn and correcting it so perfectly. He gets bumped from behind by Big Poppy that sends him into a spin, but look at how he corrects it and comes straight out of that turn. Some very impressive driving by Aiden Orth Racing. He definitely earned that third place spot going into the finals. And here's a look at your top three from this heat. Andrew Rothgarn driving for Nick Deavers Racing, Chase Gallery and Aiden Orth both driving for 3D Botmaker. And there's a look at your six finalists. This is going to be an intense finals. EMC TV, Andrew Rothgarn, and Nero 62 all with some very fast cars. But hey, don't count out Chase Gallery, Rubber Ruff, or Aiden Orth either. And here's a look at the team standings. 3D Botmaker with three drivers in the finals, Nick Deavers with two, and League of Speed with one. But hey, when it comes down to it, you really only need one car to win the tournament. Make sure you tune in next week for the Mustang Tournament Finals. You've been watching the 3D Botmaker Diecast Racing League, the home of Diecast Sports Action Racing.